Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be the perfect time to catch up and do a QA. and I haven't done one of these videos in over a year, I think, which is kind of crazy. Um, sometimes I go through and answer questions on like Instagram stories um, through that feature, but I haven't answered questions on here in quite some time. So on this gloomy weekday, I thought it would be perfect to just sit here and chill out with you guys. I've been pretty sick for the past couple weeks and I've been trying to film this video but my voice is finally coming back. So I think I'll be able to make it through this one, but we'll see. But before we get started, I have to thank my sponsor Skillshare. If you guys have been following me for a while, you've definitely heard me talk about them before. It's an online learning community that's super affordable with thousands of different classes to choose from. I personally really like their business related classes. I'm currently taking one on search engine optimization, just because that's something I didn't really learn much about in school. But if you guys wanna check out Skillshare, I'll have a link down below where you can get a two Month free trial and if you choose to move forward after the trial the premium membership comes out to less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription and that gives you unlimited access to all of their classes so now we're gonna get into these questions well this is one I get asked a lot and I feel like it's been a while since I answered it and it is how tall are you I think I'm like 5'9 or 5'10 anytime I meet any of you guys in person everyone's like the first comment is like oh my gosh I didn't expect you to be so tall and yeah I guess I am just a tall girl I have a lot of questions related to like veganism and leather so I guess we'll jump into that with something a bit more controversial, I guess. So in regards to leather, for me, I haven't purchased anything new leather in quite some time, like over a year for sure. But I have purchased secondhand leather items. I've talked more about leather in some of my videos on sustainable fashion and talking about fabrics and all of that jazz. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested. But basically, most leathers are byproducts of the meat industry. Unless it's an exotic leather, then it's generally not. I know there are so many arguments out there on whether leather is a sustainable option or not. You can't deny that it will basically last forever, almost always outlasting vegan alternatives, and a lot of vegan alternatives aren't sustainable. As I'm sure you know, a lot of them are basically plastic. The textile industry definitely is making movements towards more sustainable options for plant-based leathers, whether they're made of agricultural byproducts like apple waste or pineapple bark. There are so many new options coming out so I would say that's definitely something to look out for but for me personally buying secondhand leather is totally a-okay with me my business partner Avery in Stadtsville is actually also working on a vegan shoe brand at the moment it should be launching pretty soon so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that Sustainability is such a huge focus on his end. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. It's been so fun to watch that process. And I know a lot of you guys have been following along too. I've also gotten a lot of questions if I am a part of that. And no, it's just a totally separate venture from Stadtsvillet. Sorry if things moved around, my camera got shut off. Someone asked me, what are you looking forward to right now? I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to releasing our next collection. It's looking like it's going to happen in November. We have the majority of the pieces and now we're waiting on some t-shirts to get back from our screen printer. I think the only other style is a coat and it's getting delivered tomorrow. So that is so, so exciting. Um, I know we've been teasing a lot on social media, but we're gonna share a date soon. And if you guys are interested in following along or subscribing to our email list, I'll have those links down below for you to check out as well. I also got a lot of questions about flowers. Um, I'm like always sharing the flowers that I purchase. These ones are kind of dying. And I get these at a place pretty close to my apartment. It's called Bow House. It's like a place where you can make your own bouquet really easily. It's also a coffee shop. The workers in there are super nice. So that's where I go and they always have a different selection each week. But in New York, there are so many amazing flower shops in the flower district and chelsea is beautiful so many places to go when asked do you often go out on weekends or are you or are you usually preferring to stay at home um lately i definitely go out more i feel like i've been going out every weekend night as of the past like 
three or four months it's been really fun but i definitely love my alone time and just like chilling as well but new york is so fun there's so much to do here that like you feel a little guilty staying in all the time when asked what my skincare routine is it's pretty simple honestly like every day i wash my face with cerave hydrating cleanser and i also use a cerave moisturizer and then i just throw in a bunch of other like random serums and toners i really like this the ordinary toner i use that almost every day um and other than that it's super simple i get sent a lot of different serums and things so i try those out on occasion but i just love cerave some good drugstore products that work i'll link some stuff below though i also just get so many like business related questions i feel like like a lot of people asking like how to source fabric and how to find a factory and all of these sorts of things that i feel like a lot of people don't really care to hear about that but if you guys are interested in a separate video where i answer more business related questions maybe i could do it with avery let me know in the comments so i don't bore the rest of you someone asked if i went to university or college yeah i did i went to fit i have an associate's degree from fit i did drop out of my bachelor's though i was doing fashion business management and product development and i definitely learned stuff in school but i'm really glad i dropped out at the same time <laughs> and that was a couple years ago now did you dye your hair dark again i'm getting so many of these questions i feel like it's obvious but yes i did and i'm so glad that i did despite all of the messages i've been getting ask me why the hell i did that what fragrance would you recommend i've been wearing the labos te noir for years now and it's my absolute favorite i don't really feel like myself when i'm not wearing it and then i just have some general questions like how are you doing what's going on in your life because we've been mia which is true i'm sorry i've been mia on here i just haven't really felt like being on camera that much honestly um and then i got sick and you know i've just been like enjoying my summer and the beginning of fall and also just like working on a lot of stuff off camera as well but in general i think i'm doing really well i feel like i have a lot of energy especially after being sick you know how when you get sick and you just like realize how much you take your health for granted and then when you bounce back it's like the best thing ever that's like the phase i'm in right now yeah i'd say life is treating me well at the moment but all of your concerns are so sweet so thank you i think that's gonna wrap this video up so i hope you guys enjoyed catching up apologies for my voice still sounding weird um but i will definitely see you guys soon with a new video bye